So this house is located in Dr. Phillips. I've talked about Dr. Phillips before on my page. It's one of those just great historic places to live in Orlando. And now I'm gonna take you inside this beautiful home off of one of the main roads. It's kind of always been a secret too. So just stepping inside, this home was completely remodeled uh, just recently. Actually, they're doing some final touches still, but it has that beautiful open floor plan that everyone wants and looks for in their new place. And this main home surely does look good. Right here is where you put your formal dining table. You could probably see the list, at least an eight, eight person table, I believe there. And looking on over to the kitchen area, you have kind of like the whole double island effect. One island's like a sit up bar, and the other one you can prep on. Really nicely done. Cabinetry is beautiful. Tile work is done. And you still have it matching over here to your little bar area right off of the kitchen. So it's pretty much all open. You're gonna be able to enjoy all the family if you're here eating breakfast in the breakfast nook area, if you're over there in the formal dining area. There's just one beautiful large space that actually covers around the pool and I'll show you the pool in a little bit. First, let's get to this master or the primary suite. This home, the main property is comprised of pretty much two primary suites. One is slightly larger than the other, but you'll see that they both work very well as a primary living quarters. Here, this is just the laundry room with the extra cabinets matching over from the kitchen. Nice touch, nicely done. We're looking at some wood style tiled floor here with like a beige color. These ceilings are about, I'd say nine to 10 feet tall, just like these bifolding doors. And we are standing in the primary bedroom. Tons of window light, tons of natural light. Great space here. First primary closet. Built-ins already done for you. Coming into the primary, the main primary bathroom, you have the standalone tub, but you still have your beautiful separate shower off to the side. Dual vanities, of course, same countertops, same cabinetries that match from the kitchen. Nicely done on this master or primary side. Now heading over to the second primary side of the house. So this side of the house is broken into two bedrooms. You can see this is actually one of the secondary bedrooms, but this is still a very good size, queen size bed, excuse me, king size bed with end tables will fit in here without any issues. <clears throat> if you still needed a large bed in this room, these rooms are about 14 by 15, I'd say. Then there is a dual vanity, full bath right here. Remember this house, main house, has three full baths. And this would be what they consider the secondary primary bedroom. As you can see, very large. This one has to be about 18 feet long. You have a full bathroom again, and a door that takes you out to the pool deck area. Stand up shower. And you also have built-ins. Already done for you here too. So far, great layout, tons of space, tons of natural light. Beautiful decor. Let's take a look this outside pool area. So stepping out to this pool area, tons of space to lounge, put some lounging chairs. You can actually put a nice outdoor kitchen here as well. Pool is a great size, completely screened in. It's like in a little atrium in the middle of the compound, in the middle of the house. Let's take a look over here. So you can actually still jump in the pool get wet, be able to run into either of the properties. This is a great space right here. But now let's get to the cool part where we start looking at the extra homes on the same property. 
Now I just stepped outside really quick because I wanted to show this part of the house too. I didn't get to show you this in the beginning, but this is the front entryway. It is gated. It is a separate gate. You are not within a community here. There are not, no HOAs to really have to worry about at all. It's all your private little compound, about half an acre, I believe too. So up front in the main house, you still do have your two car garage. This is that whole master side that I showed you from the inside. See, it's the compound itself. But off your master, you do have screened in porch area too. Forgot to mention that prior. So you have this screened in porch area, not only there for this primary suite, but you still have this complete screened in pool area for the primary home, but is also shared with the two secondary properties in the back. And I'll show you those in a bit. It's actually a one bedroom unit on the downstairs, one bedroom, one bath, and a two bedroom, uh, one bath unit upstairs uh, then we have two garages on the inside and i'll show you those in a second so really quickly i just jumped into the downstairs bedroom suite this actually has a full kitchen in here it's like the living room area beautiful lighting so this could be used as a rental property or you can put some sort of family member in here if you wanted to you could put your own flooring right now it's concrete floors in here this is the bedroom great size beautiful size and it has its own living room it's a full full suite it's own laundry and it's own full bath the main home was remodeled this has been here from the previous owner microwave system this takes you out to that double garage I'll take you out there in a second but here's how it looks in here too, with great natural lighting coming in to the downstairs portion. Oh, and forgot to mention, it actually does have its own screened in patio as well, where you can fit actually a good number of chairs, maybe even a table outside there to relax. So we came back outside really quickly and we're going up to the upstairs unit. Looks like it has a little mailbox. Another screened in porch. Again, great screened in porch, great space, glass double door entry. This property's really done well. Again, I gotta capture all these windows. I'm a windows guy. I love to see natural light, especially these windows in this part of town where you have these different designs from different years this is the kitchen in the third portion of the house so this is like a third suite you could say in the home on this property compound this is the third bedroom great windows great lighting again and here's the full bath built-ins in the closets dual vanities Ooh, look at this tile work give me a second i'll show you guys this one i like the blue rain shower in here plus a handheld loving this blue tile of course it's your private room get another laundry and the rest of your closet back here. So this is another full suite, bunch of secret hidden doors. We'll find out what those do later. But this is the upstairs portion of the secondary portion of the home. There actually is one third portion left over we haven't gone to yet. And you can see there's still space in the back of this property too. This one is a two bedroom in the back. So I just showed you one of the bedrooms. Here's the other smaller secondary bedroom. Beautiful lighting again. This one overlooks the fire pit in the backyard. If you can see that there. Bedroom not as large, but it's a great size secondary room. Still has the closet space, double doors. Full bathroom with stand-up shower, boom, 
in the back there and built-ins as well it's the whole wall full double doors full of built-ins so far this unit I like even better than the downstairs one and in these secondary units, you also still have these 10 feet high ceilings. So you don't feel like you're enclosed, even though you're on the property with two other properties. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys back outside to that third and final portion of it. So you guys can see what it's all about. Now, remember I said this house was split up into three major portions. This is your large and final portion. This property is actually really nice. It used to be this used to be used as a place to shoot commercials and record. I'm gonna try and get the overall size of it so you can see how large this place is. It's like a giant garage. You can park RVs in here. You can store whatever you like in here. You can have giant projectors in here. There's actually a massive space. You can make this into an ultimate man cave garage you could even put a few lifts in here as well too and you'd be so surprised all this is hidden behind such a very popular area of orlando this is one of the garage doors open now this is a whole second garage door same size right next to it see if i can get a better light view on there and this is in between the two properties so you have the main house then you have this space here that could be used for commercial things if you'd like this commercial lighting concrete block between the other two units. The other two units had the downstairs uh, unit and upstairs unit above it there. Great piece of property here. I think that's it for now, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up with you guys in a second. Taking you over here to the fire pit side of the home. And I'm gonna turn around so you get to see the size. This is your two suites right in front of you. You have your downstairs unit here, which is that one bedroom, one bath, and you have that two bedroom unit up top, which is the two bedroom, two bath. In between both of them, you do have that double garage that I just came out of, a double RV garage, you can call it. And then you have the master home up front over here. So I wanted to get up here really quick and still show you how much space you have behind these properties. So even though you have three separate living spaces, you actually have enough space so that everyone can have their own fun space outside too. This is behind the fire pit, behind the secondary properties, which is all behind the primary home. Here's that garage space in the middle there. Here's primary suites. So even if you do have multiple family living on this property with you, you will not be bumping elbows at all for fun, for private time, for whatever, for play. Everybody has their own separate space. This is a, another view. This is from behind the fire pit. So you can see the fire pit was over there where I had the view before for you. We're back here. You have kind of like a curved garage parking lot that you can fit multiple cars in. I'm gonna show you this driveway in a second. So really quickly here, you can see those double door for the garage. So we've got the paved area behind the house here and the driveway kind of wraps all the way around so you can get the RV in without any Who issue. You have the two full lanes to get in and out of this property here. Main house pool area, RV area, storage space, garage space, whatever you like it to be. And then you have the secondary properties in the back behind it with the fire pit, tons of space over there. So I wanted to come out here and show you this part of the house too. It's a great little dog run, dog walk area. This is right behind the pool. It's fenced in on both sides here. See here, it's like a little screen enclosed. So you can see the pool is right on the other side of this wall. 
This is the door entryway out here. This is the end of the property line with the big wooden fence. This wraps all the way around the back of the additional mother-in-law units. Really nice property layout. Nice little compound here. You have an exit to get to the front of the house here too.